Israel has the right to defend itself, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Sunday in response to Turkey's decision to downgrade diplomatic ties with Jerusalem. On Friday, the United Nations Commission report that reviewed the events of the 2010 Gaza flotilla raid, which resulted in the deaths of nine Turkish activists, found Israel's blockade of the Gaza Strip was legal. Turkey denounced the report, declaring it null and void, and after demanding Israel apologize for the activists' deaths and compensate the families, downgraded diplomatic ties with Jerusalem. At Sunday's cabinet meeting, Netanyahu vowed Israel would not apologize, but regrets the loss of lives. Netanyahu said he hoped to find a way to improve ties with Ankara. Israel reserves the basic right to defend its citizens and does not need to apologize for working to protect them, Netanyahu said. In an effort to dissuade Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas from seeking statehood at the United Nations this month, Washington plans to initiate a renewal of peace talks between the Palestinians and Israel. American administration officials hope the resumption of talks will avert a clash with the Palestinian Authority seeking recognition as a member state at the UN later this month. The United States has already warned it would veto the Palestinian bid. Senior American government officials and foreign diplomats said the United States wants to avoid casting a vote in the United Nations General Assembly that would leave Washington and a small number of other countries opposed to the Palestinian move. Senior Fatah official Nabil Shah said Sunday if the UN bid fails, the Palestinian leadership would seek full membership of every UN organization and will continue submitting the statehood bid until it's received. He declared the Palestinians would not return to the negotiating table with Israel before the vote later this month. An estimated 400,000 people participated in social justice protests throughout the country on Saturday night, demanding the government present solutions. On Sunday, after weeks of protests, organizers began dismantling tents erected in major cities and towns to highlight the housing dilemma. The organizers vowed they would continue their activities but had decided to adopt different strategies. The largest rally on Saturday occurred in Tel Aviv with protests held in Jerusalem, Haifa, Fula, Kamiel and Alat, as well as other towns and cities. Demands made by the protesters include affordable housing and schooling, as well as a reduction in taxes, insisting that the government place the burden on tycoons and those in the higher income bracket. In an effort to address the social justice movement needs, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu tasked a special committee with reviewing the issues, insisting they submit their recommendations to the government this month. The Army's Home Front Command and Israel Atomic Energy Commission plan to hold a large-scale exercise this week to simulate a missile attack on the Demona nuclear reactor in the Negev. Called Fernando, the drill will simulate a nuclear meltdown similar to that in 1959 in the San Fernando Valley near Los Angeles, which took workers over a month until they were able to control the reactor and nor more than 50 years to clean up the contamination. Israel has also studied the recent crisis at the Fukushima site in Japan following the earthquake there earlier this year. A former top official at the Israeli reactor warned in March, the reactor is aging, and if it sustains damage, its cooling system could be affected. The Egyptian army plans to destroy the network of smuggling tunnels underneath the Gaza-Egyptian border and has already started mapping them out. Hundreds of tunnels straddle the 14-kilometer border where food, fuel and other supplies are smuggled into Gaza. Egyptian officials said three mechanized sensors were activated to detect the location of the tunnels and mark them for destruction. They said they planned to fill the tunnels with cement and water rather than blow them up. The smuggling tunnels have been a constant concern for both Israel and Egypt. Israel has said the tunnels are not only used to smuggle weapons and terrorists into Gaza, but are also used by terrorists in Gaza to infiltrate into Israel via the Sinai.